Hello, welcome to Frank's School. I I'm ca calling this the sixth video of uh, the 161st day of the fourth year, uh, the introduction to the forest of Busaku. Um, well, you, you know, it's too much. If this were, if my videos were being used in a classroom, this would already be too much for one class period. But I'm doing it like this because all of these videos had to do with one day on our trip, a day that started in Coimbra and ended in Coimbra, the day we went up the Mondego River to Penacova and now on the way back. Now, uh, for what uh, we're going to see here, if you, if you, it's a little hard to imagine, but it really is a beautiful place. And if you got fascinated and you wanted to see more images of it, well, on, on this channel, uh, a, uh, a year ago, because I, I didn't put it on until fall. Third year, 35th day, first video, second and third, and then the 36th day, first, second, third, and fourth. Those come from 2013, when Shirley Hawking and I were at the forest of Busaku. Uh, that was the first time I had ever been there. All right, well, we now, uh, in this, this year, with, with Thomas, are traveling back to Coimbra. Uh, I was delighted. I had managed to find Panacova. And uh, so what to do with the rest of the day? Well, uh, we stopped at the... Uh, well, I'll come back. We stopped at the monastery, Mosteiro, or in German, Kloster, uh, at Lorvão. And those videos are already they're already online. Uh, my view of Lorvan and, and, and Shirley's view of Lorvan, they're already there. Uh, and so uh, that was something I, I didn't really know anything about. It was just, you know, I saw it and we were in the area. <laughs> Unbelievable, really. If you look at some of the history of this stuff, that, that goes back well over a thousand years, <laughs> that, that, that site. But, that, you know, that's, that's kind of the way it is. Uh, now, why I put Kelo here and with a question mark is because back in 1970 when I was first at Penacola and after we had almost had to spend the night on the <laughs> Seja de, de Estrela uh, and then uh, Joyce and I were driving back not to Coimbra but back to Lisbon uh, we had rented this car and we were going to drive the whole way back to Lisbon well that day as we headed back I remember we were driving along and we realized we had some time uh, we didn't need to go straight to Lisbon, and you know, I, I at least didn't, still don't like cities. So we took a, we took a sharp turn to the right, and uh, I think I wanted to know, well, what's up over those mountains, you, you know, to get out of the Mondego River Valley. I remember it was a very sharp turn to the right, and then we went up there, and we were in for an adventure. We uh, drove and came down into a town that was right during the Feta. Uh, that is the, the weekly market. So this town was packed with pedestrians, peasants, coming to the Feta. You, you could hardly drive through it. Uh, and I remember thinking, what have we done? What are we doing here? Because we're in this little car. <laughs> it, it's surrounded by, by, uh, by, by uh, pedestrians, peasants. And, uh, uh, but anyway, we drove on through it and then uh, <clears throat> headed back to, uh, uh, to Lisbon. But I often wondered, what was that town? For one thing, it, it had a feta, uh, which later on, soon in this year, in this course, I'll be talking again about a feta. Uh, is the feta still there? Uh, and I, my get, and again, I don't know the name. I didn't know the name. But at this point, I think it's probably Kell. Uh, who knows if I'll ever get back there. But I thought I'd at least record that that's how close I got to it. That was back in 1970. Well, I remember that day after we'd driven through that, seeing signs of a forest, a, a forest, and I, I remember being so tempted to try to find that because, you know, you, you saw these signs and it looked like a really neat place. But we didn't have time. We didn't dare. <clears throat> we had to get all the way back to Lisbon. But that was the forest of Busaco. That I did figure out later on. And, uh, <clears throat> and this time, back in 2013, I decided I wanted to go check that out. We, and, and so now we've actually been there twice. Shirley and I have been to the Force of Busaco twice now. This time we had the, the delight of being able to share it with Thomas. You know, it was so cool. He, 
he uses the term full circle sometimes. It come full circle. Here we were back, two years later, back at Bosako. Now what's so special about Bosako? Well, you know, as I say, you can see all this if you want. It's a, it's a forest. Oh, you just go online if you want. But, but anyway, I don't know about uh, the whole forest that much. But the two things I do know about are the palace, spectacular five-star hotel now, and you will see video of that. And, and then the Fonch Fria uh, uh, fountain, cold fountain. And that, again, <coughs> two years ago, I filmed it, and I film it again. Probably this year's videos would be <coughs> easier to watch than the other ones. <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> because they're so extensive. I mean, these are a little bit, bit quicker. Plus, you know, you'll sh see Shirley's work. Well, uh, I'm going to put, put these two on, and then... Uh, and then that, then we went on back to Queen, but so that will finally end this uh, this particular day. Bye for now.